Hi there, my name is Nethiam, and today we're playing Factorio. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. When we last left off, I was going to go ahead and start building uh, this little factory here, and I think I pretty much have it ready to go. I put everything down, tested it zero times, and so now we're going to see what happens. <laughs> you know how it is. So I have all these pipes. I assume they all connect the way that I had planned them to, but we're going to find out real quick. Um, so theoretically, so I can't remember exactly what I was planning to do here. I recorded like two days ago, but I've already forgotten. Um, uh, <laughs> I can't remember what I was planning. I it, was I thinking? Uh, uh, <laughs> was I imagining that like? I think I was imagining that a train could come in with, you know, with uh, two wagons could come in. One time they could come in with oil, and one time they could come in with water, and then everything would be groovy. But I don't think there's any way to filter liquids, at least not in my current tech level. So I don't know what the heck I was thinking there. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any way to filter these guys. So <laughs> I decided to just make this a four-car train. The back two will be water. The front two will be oil. Everyone is happy. And then we also have items uh, here. So, theoretically, we're good to go. Uh, so this will be our coal. So we'll get some coal to come in here. Coal should get put into here. Right, coal? Yes, coal. And then this left-hand chunk of tanks here will be oil. Uh, or petroleum, rather. Um, and the petroleum will then get split and go to both these machines and these machines. And then this right-hand chunk here will be water. And then that water will go over to these machines only. So, eh, did we need exactly as much oil or petroleum as we did water? Or vice versa? No. But, whatever. <laughs> here we are. So, uh, let's go ahead and set this guy to be, um, uh, plastic... Sulfur, that's what that little yellow crystal is, right? And this is drop off, and we'll give it our little, uh, the little plastic and the little sulfur, and there we go. Okay, lovely. So that's our plastic and sulfur drop off, and then we have the little uh, belts coming out of those factories, and then they just go over here, you know, just to my usual little little six balancer thing right into chests ready to go into a train uh, that might come and pick these up and do something else with them. I'm not going to worry about that right away, but we will go ahead and name this. Plastic Sulfur Did I name that correctly? I did. Okay. Yeah, because this is pickup. Pickup. Cool. And that obviously is from the perspective of the item themselves, right? So Obviously, we don't drop off pet plastic and sulfur here. We drop off the supplies for plastic and sulfur, but nevertheless. Okay, that's just how my <laughs> my brain has, has chosen to understand it, and so far it has worked. Yes, oil, water, loop around, or petroleum, not oil, but same difference. All right, let's go set up uh, the train to make this little jaunt and then, or at least part of this little jaunt. I don't have anywhere for it to get water, but I'm, man, I'm trying to decide how I want to do that. I think it's going to be pretty basic. I think essentially what I'm going to do is just create like a little, I'm not even going to create a full station, I don't think, because it's just water. I can theoretically create a ton of water uh, drop-offs, or, you know, kind of like the, kind of like the refuel stations or whatever, because just water is so almost, like, free, that, where am I? <laughs> I was not looking at the map, I was just like, yeah, it's down this way, right? <laughs> ended up in, <laughs> ended up in the wrong neighborhood. Wow, I can't believe I got so far without really realizing it. Um, I thought I, I I I always I mean that's 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 the problem right every every little part in your base looks the same so I was sort of picturing that I was like up here so I'm like oh yeah I'll go down to where the the oil thing is but of course I was over here so pff, going down this way doesn't take me anywhere um but anyway here's our train 
and I've already got it set up to be a four car train. So it's got a little, uh, it's got the little last wagon just to make it go, or a locomotive to make it go a little faster. So, uh, so we've got the petroleum. Now we just need to think about a way to get it to go get water. But I think for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just get it booted up and working to go, uh, take the, take the oil here. Um, and I think this is going to be a time where it might be time to start thinking about a new coal refuel stop, which we might go here because, or yeah, maybe, he, well, I don't know. Maybe here. Well, eh. Part of me is still trying to sort of save some of this copper, but I'm not going to use it, so who cares? <laughs> so maybe I'll just pick one here. I'll make a water stop and a coal stop. Because, yeah, I'm just trying to think, okay, this guy is going to go get water somewhere, and then he's going to need to get coal somewhere, and then he's going to need to drop off the, the liquids right here. So I think it makes the most sense maybe if I have a little coal drop off right here. Just call it a day. Yeah. Oops. All right. Let's think about that. Uh, yeah. Now for now we'll just we'll just get him get him cooking. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and send him. We'll do plastic sulfur drop off first. He's got a little coal already. So we'll go plastic sulfur drop off. Uh, did I say you were ready to go, my guy? <laughs> I guess I did. Um, so I'm going to do empty cargo or liquids. I'm not totally sure, but let's just sort of stick with our normal thing. And then that's fine. And then actually, no, I think it makes more sense flow wise. No, I guess it doesn't matter. It's, it's the same. We'll go get him. We'll send him to a coal refuel stop for what was I doing? 10 seconds. That should be plenty. And that's it. I think that will be acceptable uh, for what I for right now for what I want him to do. And then let's go. Let's go take a look and just see. <laughs> see if any of this is majorly broken, but I'm hoping it's not. Well, not so far. So far, so good. We got petroleum where I wanted it. We got petroleum going into these pipes. We got petroleum going into these pipes and these pipes, but not the other pipes. So all you guys got petroleum? 60 petroleum. Petroleum. Cool. All right. I won't check all of them just because that would be boring, but and we'll find out soon enough if I've forgotten like an input pipe uh, if one of those factories doesn't work. But hey, I mean, the fact that it went all the way to where it needed to go, I'm pretty pleased with that. So yeah, now we just need uh, water in that bad boy. Wow, that emptied? Okay. Because now I could theoretically send it to go get water, but it wouldn't. There'd be no way. But there. So I think that's as far as I thought ahead. I was like, oh yeah, and then I'll just I'll just wait for it to be empty, and then I'll send it to go get water, and then bring it back and just use the same pumps. But again, I don't think there's any way to like filter water. But maybe I'm wrong, or maybe there will be later. All right, so we're gonna use another one of these, I think. Go ahead and flip this around, put it in the same, sure, same place, right there. Again, eh. <laughs> it feels weird covering resources, but I don't think it's gonna matter. And then this guy is gonna go here. Finally, we're actually gonna be using this. Cool. Um, all right, now, Yes. So let me put a little bit of this track down. I don't know if I'll. I don't know if I'll get this all set up today, just because that might be a lot of building. But or we have a quite fair amount of building before this thing is actually operational. But we can think about where we're going to get the water, and I assume water pumps need power, right? Why wouldn't they need power? Do they not need power? I oh, know they don't need power, do they? Because otherwise, how would you get? How would you get power? <laughs> how would you get a power? That's that's a that's a that's an elemental resource for power. Hmm. Hmm. 
So I'm thinking I'm just gonna put a couple of pumps here, pipe it over there, call it a day, basically. Um, because again, water is so, well, quote unquote, plentiful. Uh, obviously, at some point, I might be out in the middle of nowhere where there is no water, and I'll be eating those words. But right now, we got water around. So, um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this. I mean, this is fully overkill, but I'm gonna go ahead and do two. Um, wait, can these not go next to each other? Ah, they can't go right next to each other. Interesting. And then, I think what I'll do is... Eh, I don't think I really need a... How can I have 465 pipes and I can only make nine of these? Oh, it also requires iron plates. Okay, I was gonna say, like, there's no way it takes that many. All right, I have 35. I don't know if that's, that's the, probably not gonna quite cut it. I'm just gonna combine these. This is probably, again, overkill, but, you know, just, why not? Why not go wild? And then, how do I wanna handle this? Do I wanna bring it in that way? Do I wanna turn a corner? I don't really want to run it. I'm like, I'm already running uh, pipes in the gap here uh, somewhere. Where was I running pipes? Here. I don't love this. Oh, I don't have a thing there. Anyway, I don't, I don't love that there's pipes in between the tracks because that means as I drive through here, I have to spend a second on the tracks, which I don't love. <laughs> My goal is that I don't drive on the tracks very often or ever. Can't believe I keep clicking randomly on stations. So I'm gonna try to avoid that. So we'll just go, I'm gonna go like this so that, we'll go to about there. And oh, heartbreaking. Oh, well, we have a couple. Cool. All right. And then I think what I'm going to do is just build a couple of ooh, uh, wood if I had any resources. All right. Let me go grab some iron plates. Do I need anything else while I'm over at the old base? I could go to the new bases. Iron plates, but I think the old base is actually closer to where I am right now. <laughs> Wait, what's over there? What's that? Oh, it's oil. <laughs> There's a little oil node on that island. Adorable. Um, Actually, no. Probably if, as long as I'm here and all I'm going for is iron plates, it probably is easier just to go up here. Sort of. And then just steal it from here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna make maybe ah uh, again overkill, so much overkill. But it, you know, I just like to sort of I like to see it. I like to know that we just have lots and lots and lots. Even though, <laughs> what's the water gonna do? Run out? Um. Oh boy, I was I was pressing so many buttons and all of them were the wrong one. <laughs> Since this is basically running my entire base at the moment, let's make sure this is nice and <laughs> nice and repaired. Car doesn't matter as much. I wonder how many hours you need to put into this buggy before you're decent at driving it, because it's more than I put in clearly. All right, so I am going to get this set up with a couple of <laughs> couple <laughs> a couple of these guys. Well, we can just go ahead and do this, I suppose, and then I'm gonna put 
we'll just do, oh, they're gonna go over here. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? I don't need these here. Could have saved myself some pipes. I actually need them. I'm gonna put these guys down real quick, just to sort of help me mark mentally where these are gonna go. And then I specifically used the item things, not the pumps, just so that I would remember which ones to get rid of. <gasps> oh, dummy, idiot, dumb. That's not right. Those should go here. So they can line up with that. Would that work the other way though? <gasps> oh, they're not the same level. These aren't necessarily like mirable to fit with this. Ah, that's a bummer. Oh well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, nothing's gonna go here. Yeah, whatever. But let's see. So we'll put a guy there. Put a guy there, and there we go. That, that really isn't going to connect, huh? Okay. It's cool. I get it. And then our little... Where are they? Did I not make them? I didn't make them. Yeah, there. These guys are going to go... Why? Why is there a whole thing right there? I don't remember that being the case. Yeah, they're not there. Oh, I guess that's what we're looking at? This is what we're looking at here? Just the front side of it? Oh, interesting. <laughs> cool, all right, so that's that. Whoops, I did not mean to make another one. Now we're really getting overkill, come on now. I think I'll actually just build these in line like that. Because why not? Like so. And then this is basically just going to go like this. Put that like that. That like that. And that like that. Connect those with undergrounds, even though, again, doesn't really matter. Because I can just walk through. <laughs> just walk through regular pipes. But just for sort of visual I think they look cool I love the underground pipes I think they just look awesome it just makes this place look so industrial I think it's just a straight pipe would look boring all right so here we go here's the thing here's our little water stop doesn't go anywhere uh, at the moment but we'll go ahead and name it nonetheless despite the fact that it won't really matter uh, we'll say water yeah we could just call it water pickup um I don't know if it's ever really gonna be the same as you know other things but you know because it's not like it's gonna have it's not like it's constructed I don't know if it's gonna be you know there might be other one I don't know doesn't matter I think it oh whoa I could not <laughs> from my zoom level right here I can't see and I assume you cannot either I can't see the wire connecting these two poles so <laughs> I was like, wait, why aren't those connected? Could have swore. All right, let's see if we can get this thing actually up and running. Or if it's gonna take too much, too much piping to figure out. Or tr tracking, rail, tra track, track, burp, railroading, Ro road railing. Burp, burp. Certainly the signals are going to be a little upset, I think, for a hot minute, but... Eh, maybe not. I guess I have it. I have them broken up a little bit, so... Go ahead and do this. So, my sort of typical thing is to put a couple of signals here, because that little blue section there is long enough for a six-car train, which is nice. Again, not really going to matter a ton. <laughs> <laughs> until we have like multiple trains coming into all these places but still nice to have and I think it helps kind of break up you know it's sort of 
we want to kind of break these little signals up, right? Because if I don't have any signals, then this guy turns red when there's a train sitting at the stop, which we do not want. So we got to break this up at least a little. But so I might as well put these two here. That way we've got this little nice thing. And then again, eventually, I haven't done this with any of them because I don't have multiple trains. But eventually this will be sort of, we'll fill out these tracks. So that way multiple trains can come, queue up, and then go to the station as needed. And that will be lovely. All right, where is our fuel guy or our water guy? Is it this guy? I assume with the round things. Where are you going? Going to get some fuel? Fun. All right, let's go ahead and add uh, water. So we're going to have him stop at the water pickup. And we're going to have to do that in between. We're going to say full cargo or 60 seconds. Probably 60 seconds might be overkill, but I guess it doesn't matter. Um. Oh. Oh, sure. Oh, plastic drop off. Oh! <laughs> Raise your hand if you saw this long before I did. You probably should tell him to go actually pick up more more stuff, yeah? <laughs> uh, I just have him go into the drop-off, getting fuel, go into the drop-off, getting fuel. He's happy as a clam. Oh, man. All right, let's call this... <laughs> let's call this, uh... We'll just call it petrol, even though I know that's not entirely correct. Uh, petrol pickup. Uh... Uh, sure. Draw him gas. And there we go. So now we will tell this guy to actually go get more, get more stuff. So this is actually going to go after the water pickup. Because what I want him to do first is pick up petroleum. <laughs> oh boy. Full cargo or 60 seconds. Cool. <laughs> All right. So, petrol pickup. Pick up some uh, petroleum. Water pickup. Go to pick up water. That should be pretty easy. He'll go here. Then he'll just loop around and go here. And then... Mm. This is actually a little inconvenient, actually. Maybe I'll put it over here. I think I'll put it here. So, you can go petrol, water, plastic, fuel. Petrol. So, then just his loop is just right here. That'll be way better. We'll put it here. Uh, but for now, it doesn't matter. So, uh, petrol, full cargo, 60 seconds. Water, full cargo, 60 seconds. Plastic, silver drop off, empty cargo, or 60 seconds. Go here first. Okay. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I was creating traffic. Let's, let's make sure this works correctly. So, he's coming in. Coming in hot. That should fill with petroleum. Happy as a clam. We'll go down here. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all this because I won't put a coal uh, fuel drop off, fuel refuel thing here. Uh, Cause that won't really be necessary. And then let's see if we got this correct. But this should be the second two cars. And that should be the empty, the empty fu uh, fluid wagons that are on there. Let's go, buddy. Sometimes 60 seconds is a long, long time when you're just sitting here waiting for something to happen. I was like, oh, I'll walk over there while I'm waiting. Give me plenty of time. But now, now we're just sitting here. We're just sitting here. Did I do this right? Yeah, I did. <laughs> 60 seconds is just a long time. <laughs> All right. Let's see how this works. Gonna run around here. Come in for a stop here. Perfect. And there we go. We'll hop in so we can follow him along. And then pretty soon here, we'll give him a little less than 60 seconds. Well, what? Oh, because of course he couldn't get full cargo. I might specify here, as opposed to full cargo. We might specify, maybe for both of them, but like, 
how much to wait for. So, would that be 50k? Would I just tell it to wait for 50k, maybe? Let's see here. Uh, fluid count. Fluid. Petroleum. Uh, greater to or equal than... Whoa. 50k? Is that how that works? Cool. And now we got water. Now I got that. We got sulfur cooking. Amazing. I'm going to set this guy to manual for just a second. So we'll take this out. We'll just say, hey, wait until you have 50k or like at least 50k, essentially. Um, or 60 seconds. And then we'll do the same thing here. We'll say fluid count, water, greater than or equal to 50k. I think that's right because I, I assume it's looking at the entire wagon or the entire train. So that there uh not that those the order of those matter so there we go and then it seems like and then this can probably be like well eh, we'll just keep it 60 so it'll wait plenty of time in case there's like a shortage of one of these liquids or something like that i suspect not at, at least not currently but we'll see what happens so hopefully this will wait until the front two cars are full before going as opposed to waiting for the whole train to be full, which it never will be, probably here at the petrol station, because, well, it won't be, because after it's dropped off some of the water, well, I guess there's a chance that this could eventually be full and it won't drop off anything or whatever, but you know what I mean. All right. Head back, bro. I'll actually go do your coal refill first. I'm just curious if I can actually see that happening. Um, oh, right, sure. We don't, we're not gonna have plastic for a minute because, uh, we don't have the coal coming in, but sulfur's doing its thing. Seems to be working just fine. Um, they all seem to be working, making, making sulfur, so I don't think I missed any, uh, connections. They all seem to have petroleum and water. Everyone's happy. All these little output inserters are doing their thing. So that seems like it's working right. All right, so... Uh, I just need to send coal here. And what I, like, eh? This guy? No. <laughs> now the answer's no. Because I don't want that guy to, because then I would have to add a timer to this and blah, 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 blah. Or whatever, you know, I'd have to somehow lock it, him from coming here to... I don't want to deal with that shenanigans. So we're just going to make a new train. And this, <laughs> you know, the solution to everything. New train. That hit song by the shins. Uh, let's see. Give this guy some coal. And then I'm just going to have this guy's only job is a coal mine. Uh, full cargo or 60 seconds and then uh, plastic plastic push plastic, plastic sulfur drop off plastic salt plat <laughs> empty cargo or 60 seconds and then this should automatically uh, there's a little thing here that fuels the the locomotive so you shouldn't need anything else besides that. Lovely. There he goes. We're going to have to come up with something. <laughs> We're going to have to come up with a solution uh, for for that coal mine because that's pretty quickly. Uh, and, and by pretty quickly, I mean already um, a little bit untenable in terms of like we got too many trains trying to go here. Not enough not enough room for them to do so. So we're gonna have to either redesign this or put another station. I think maybe what I'll do is is essentially just build a new station here or something, or like here maybe, that, and kind of just build a new, like a second one almost, but with the idea that it would eventually replace this. So I'll build something that can hold and totally redo this whole intersection because this intersection is frightening. Uh, we'll redo the intersection. 
uh, actually have a little bit of a buffer maybe you know have a few have a few lanes for trains maybe even have a few uh, platforms um, you know I don't love the multi-platform situation but it it would theoretically allow me to or I need to come up with some solution where I can have multiple platforms without creating any sort of weird bottlenecks right because like obviously I could put I could put one here I could put another station here <laughs> but that that would not be good um so somehow create a, a system where I can have multiple platforms or something just we gotta I gotta increase the amount of trains that can come through the coal mine station and then probably increase the amount of coal that I'm producing uh it seems okay but obviously I mean, I'm sure it's not gonna be okay for long but anyway uh did that work it seems to have not yet I don't think I've gotten uh this this must be my guy here there we go welcome back so cool <laughs> I don't know there's something cool about having this station do two things at once um oh hey guess what we now have plastic so stack inserters are not super outside the realm possibility because red red circuits can be uh are gonna be starting to be able to get made pretty soon here so that might be the next thing we work on that might be our next factor is red circuits so we can actually start making uh some cool science we can start making some uh stack inserters neat neat thanks all right and look at that we got plastic they all seem to be working so I think that means all my pipes are right. I can't believe that. <laughs> That's a lot of pipes. And it's kind of kind of wacky and complicated and they kind of overlap each other a little bit. So wasn't 100% sure that was going to work all the way. But hey, howdy, hey. It sure did. So anyway, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm going to call that a success. Pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I think maybe next episode we'll start to think about our next factory, which probably will be red circuits, just because we've got we got all the stuff, and those are gonna those are gonna take us into the next some of the next phases. But we already got copper cables and green circuits, and now we got plastic, so we're basically good to go. Um, on some of that red circuit stuff, and certainly you know now uh, going towards blue science is gonna be really really important. Um. I don't have a I don't have a motor factory either or an engine unit factory so that'll probably be the the sort of top priority the first the next two f uh, factories that we make will probably be these two eh, well in order to do this we're really need pipes so you know <laughs> you know what I mean but those are the ones that we're working towards I think and we might need more of this I don't know if this is uh, producing as fast as I'd like it to especially if plastic or at least you know indirectly um you know red circuits and stuff are going to be going towards science i definitely like to make sure that we're producing as much of this as we possibly can so we'll probably end up adding another another row to this uh stuff here because yeah i feel like we've we have a little bit of room to grow here with uh with petroleum because we've got a fair fair number of fair number of little spots here and uh, if need be we'll just add more of these so anyway <laughs> I'm excited there's lots to do thank you so much for joining me I can't wait to see you again and I hope you have an incredible day okay bye Thank you again for watching the video. If you'd like to see more from me, feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when my videos go live. I'd also very much love to hear from you down in the comments below.